Hi, today I want to expand a little bit on SmartDraw software. Had a few questions come in regarding how to get things set up and get started on it. So I'm just going to touch base on a few odds and ends to get you rolling. When you first open up your program, you'll probably come to a screen like this and you have a bunch of different choices off here on your left. And we're in the popular right now, but uh, you want to take a look over here and find your floor plans. Now you can take a look back to the left. You have floor plans, commercial, floor plans, residential. And within those two, you'll find various different uh, things that may suit you a little bit better. But let's go with uh, the floor plans here. And we'll want to go with a custom floor plan. We've got that opened up. Off to the left is some pre-populated uh, floor plans that they've already got set up for you. That's one of the nice features of SmartDraw is there's just thousands and thousands of uh, pre-populated uh, projects to get started with. But it's something as simple as getting started on your own walls. You can just go ahead and get these drawn in. Now most likely I could have just got the, the rectangle here and just popped it in there. But for the purposes I wanted to show you adding the walls. And we've got a few of those in there. This one's already got the door. So let's get this one out of the way. So in this particular one what you have is like your first layer. And perhaps you want to go in and start drawing some outlets. What you can do is go on up to page, layers, we're going to add a new layer. We're going to call the new layer outlets. And we'll say OK. And take a look down here on the bottom left you'll see default and outlets. Right now you're not seeing anything different. But what I want to do is I want to rename that default. So I double click that and a dialog box comes up. I'll click on default, edit layer. I'm going to call this floor plan. Say OK. And I want this to be on the back layer, the bottom layer, or first layer. So all I'm going to do is move the layer up and as you add layers in here you may have outlets, lighting, so on and so forth. And that'll all show up down here in the bottom so when you're moving back and forth and I'll show you the purpose of this. So I'm going to go on outlets down here on the left and I'll click in there. I'm going to open up a library and we'll scroll down to engineering and let's just go to some basic electrical let's see if this is what we're after as you can see there's just so many different symbols already pre-drawn and that's one of I think one of the best sellers of this software um, you can do it yourself take some time I've got things going on in uh, Corel Draw that I'm trying to put together but it's very very time consuming so this is not what we're looking for here. Uh, we can go to electrical wiring and you can kind of see if I move my mouse to point then that's just going to go away but uh, let's go for some outlets here. So we'll go into electrical wiring, duplex outlets, triplex, okay looks like this is what I want. We'll open up the library it popped open on the left over there and we'll click on duplex receptacle and we'll rotate that resize it a bit and voila you've got yourself an outlet now remember us talking about layers this is going to be on the outlets layer so if I go back to the floor plan it's still there but I can't click on it. I can't do anything to it. Go back to the outlets. Now I can click on it. Move it however I want. 
one of the things here if I go to floor plan and click visible and take that off you'll see in the outlets it's no longer visible let's go back to floor plan we'll do visible we've got both the outlet and the walls now we're into outlets I'm going to take visible off now I'm in outlets so I can edit manipulate move resize whatever I want to do here okay but now if I go back to the floor plan my outlets gone that's the power of layers and we can do that just by continuing to add layers through here like I said earlier lighting or um, power plans uh, furniture whatever you want to put in here so let's go back to outlets here right click I'm gonna go visible go back to floor plan so there they're both there I can adjust the floor plan kinda of repetitive here but I'm just trying to bring home the point the flexibility of the software so now I'm on the outlets and I can move that if I want if I hit control D that will duplicate it or one of the other things that you can do is hold down your shift key to the outlet there I'm gonna go over here now and I can stamp it stamp it stamp it stamp it so there's a couple different ways that you can keep adding outlets hit escape to get out of that go back to your O key and then you can edit from there resize it we'll get into the actual uh, copying and pasting and duplicating in a different video but I kinda wanted to show you just the basic idea between the floor plan and the outlets one of the best things to do, I should have said this in the very beginning going back, is once you open up your very first one, go to your file, hit save as, and then save it somewhere. Because if you don't, if you just hit save, it could go back into the default category and that's just going to mess up the whole default library. So make sure you hit save as immediately as soon as you get into a new, um, new drawing. So anyway, I guess I got a minute here. I'll go ahead and show you real quick. Um, let's do back in the home lines. So if you want to go from this outlet to that outlet, you can hit the line. You got straight, curve, shape, so on and so forth. Hit a curve line. You can just click on it once, bring it over, click on it twice. There you have it. Bring your arrow down. And you can actually move that curved line. If you want to continue that on, just hit shift and then you can go from outlet to outlet. Outlet. To outlet. And there you have the hit escape. There you have all your um, lines in here. Oops, kind of screwed that one up. Let me back it up a little bit. And click on that to get it highlighted. And then I can bring that down in. We can move this one a little bit if we want to. So they don't overlap. See all the different uh, measurements in here? If you don't want to see those measurements, just go down here and in the show dimensions, just click that off. You no longer have all those dimensions in there to deal with. As you can see, SmartDraw is pretty flexible in its uh, drawing program. And with this library that they have, uh, I'll go back into that real quick. With this library that they have here, there's just thousands and thousands and thousands of things that you can get into. I've done a couple, my own symbols, things that I'm still working on. But uh, anyway, just wanted to pass this on to you and show you a little bit of getting started in the smart draw software thanks for watching as always and have a great day i'll talk to you later